Good evening. Once again, it's Reverend Aaron Simmons with Plant the Word Ministries. And as promised, we're going to go over the story of, of the rich man and Lazarus. Let us begin with a prayer. Heavenly Fathers, we open your living word and we seek your wisdom and guidance in all things because we know your word exceeds all things. Your word says that heaven and earth shall pass, but your word is eternal. And we have faith and trust in that. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. So, brothers and sisters, if you will uh, turn with me to uh, Luke chapter 6, we're going to start with verse 19, and it goes as follows. There was a certain rich man, which was clothed in purple and fine linen, and fared sympathies every day. And there was a certain beggar named Lazarus, which was laid at his gate full of sores, and desired to be fed from the crumbs in which fell from the rich man's table. Moreover, the dogs would come lick his sores, and it came to pass that the beggar died and was carried by the angel into Abraham's bosom, and the rich man also died, and he was buried. I'm going to stop for one second. He was buried. Now, my Bible tells me that the wages of sin is death. Now, we know the God that we serve, Jesus Christ. He conquered death and the grave. So us as Bible-believing, God-fearing Christians, this is not the end for us. So let us continue with the scriptures before I get full-blown church in here, before I finish the scripture. Hang on now. And it come to pass that the beggar died and was carried by the angels into Abraham's bosom, and the rich man also died, and he was buried. And in hell he lifted up his eyes, being in torment, and seeing Abraham afar off, and then Lazarus, Lazarus in his bosom and he cried out and said father Abraham have mercy on me and send Lazarus that way he may dip the tip of his finger in the water and cool my tongue for I am in torment in these flames but Abraham said son remember thou that thou in, in thy lifetime received the, the good things and likewise evil things Lazarus likewise evil things but now he is comforted, and thou art tor tormented. And beside all, all this between us is a great gulf fix, so that which would pass from hither to you can't, nor can thy pass unto us that come from thee. And then he said, I pray ye, therefore, Father, that, that thou would send me to my father's house. And I have five brethren, and he may testify unto them, and lest they also come into this place of torment. And Abraham said unto them, They have the they have Moses and the prophets, let them hear them. And he said, Nay, Father Abraham, if one which come into, from the dead, they will repent. And he said unto him, If they hear not Moses and the prophets, nor will they be persuaded from those that from the one that rose from the dead. And brothers and sisters, I'm just going to tell you right now, hell is a real place for those that, that are without God and, and don't know Jesus Christ. It's a real place. I'm just going to start with that right now. Because in my word, this is in red letters. So this is Jesus saying this to the people. But but I'm gonna break it down even further. If you to get to the point to, for for you to understand this, your luxuries on this earth does not matter to the hill of beans. It doesn't, it, it, unless you've got a personal relationship with Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, and you walk according to the scriptures and you seek repentance and you're humble and obedient to his word. None of that matters. Once you leave this earth, you know, I hear people say a lot, you know, they've been talking about Jesus coming for 2000 years. Let me tell you something. He's coming. But I'm going to tell you what, there's going to come a time in life when your life ends and you'll stand face to face in his presence, face to face in his presence. And as this rich man is looking up from hell, let me tell you what's in hell, remorse and remembrance. Because it reads right here, I have five brethren. He was saying, I have five brothers, send him to my father's house, send Lazarus to my father's house and if they see that he has come back from the dead and tells about this place, this place that I am in, which is in torment, 
they shall repent. And Moses and Abraham replied, they have Moses and the prophets. Let them hear him. The brothers and sisters on the Mount of Transformation, when Jesus Christ was transforming the sight of Elijah and, and, and Moses, Jesus fulfilled the law of, the, of Moses and the, the prophets. He is the fulfillment of the prophets and Moses' law. Jesus said, I come not to abolish the law, but get through me, it shall be fulfilled. And even the, the saddest part in this scripture, and it says, and he said unto him, if they hear not Moses, nor the prophets, nor would they be persuaded by the one that rose from the dead. Brothers and sisters, Jesus Christ defeated hell, the grave, and the death. He is the one that rose from the dead, the firstborn of the dead. You must get to a place in your walk where you realize that, that you're nothing without Jesus Christ, that you will not have eternal life. You will you will receive this torment in which this rich man had, and this beggar was in, in pure bliss in Abraham's bosom in, in, in the pearly gates of heaven. And you know, only thing, there's two warnings here. Not all blessings that you see as blessings is showing that you have faith for with God. Because just as as those that are out there that are lost, that are selling dope and doing stuff, to, evil stuff to make money, they, they're, they're feeling like they're being blessed, but that's not of God. I'll tell you that right now, brothers and sisters, that's not of God. So, I mean, Lazarus is sitting here begging Abraham or or. The rich man is begging Abraham to send Lazarus. That way he could just dip his tongue, his finger in water just to, to put it on his tongue because the flames of hell is just burning him up. Just burning him up. Brothers and sisters, I don't wanna, want none of y'all out there to go to this, this terrible, horrible place that's meant for Satan and his demons. None of y'all. I love you as Christ does. And you know, this is Christ speaking. You know, a lot of people say, well, well, well Reverend Aaron, you're, you're real hard and pulled up and to the blunt with your preaching and your teaching brothers and sisters because just like heaven is real hell is real and it's my job to give you a warning this is jesus christ talking here he's giving a warning to the people right there in red letters so if we must follow after him we must also give those that that, that same warning that's why it says go ye to all the nations. This is in the gospel according to Luke. He said, go into all nations and pre preach the gospel until all men. So, so those that are out here that, that doesn't believe there's a hell and, and there's not a, a place for eternal eternal damnation for, for the judgment of the sins, it says it right here. And it, it, it won't made for us. This, this place of torment was not made for us. It was made for the beast, the false prophet, and Satan himself and his fallen angels. It wasn't made for us. You know, Jesus said, you know, when he rose on the third day and he was with his disciples for 40 days and he left, he said, I go to prepare a place for you, for me and you. Now, if I go to prepare an ESD, I should come back. He's coming back to us, brothers and sisters. The word says those that are dead in Christ will rise first, and those that are living will be raptured up and be with him in the clouds. Now, brothers and sisters, as I say plenty and plenty of times, you know, who's going to be left behind? Who are you going to leave behind? See, when you stand in front of that great white throne judgment and Christ looks at you, and he's either going to say two things, my good and faithful servant, or depart from me, you workers of iniquity. I never knew you. See, brothers and sisters, you can have all the riches in the world. You can have all the glamour and, and the fame in the world. But none of it mounts to nothing if you're not serving Jesus Christ. Because when you die, I'll just tell you like this, when you die, this world continues going around. This physical earthly world contenders going around and somebody gets your stuff and your face with 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 the judgment of of, of christ and where your eternal 
soul is going to be. Is it going to be in bliss and, and in heaven with Christ where he wipes away all tears and there's no pain and there's no hurt? Or is it going to be in the, the flaming fiery pit of hell, the bottomless pit that burns hotter, seven times hotter than the sun? See, brothers and sisters, I'm giving a warning. This has been on my heart for the past week. The Lord has been speaking with me on this and, and to give this warning because there's somebody out there that needs to hear this. There's a lost soul out there that needs to hear this. There's those that are backslidden that needs to hear this. Hell is a real place. And the only way you can prevent from going this place is repent of your sins and accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Brothers and sisters, as I begin to close, I know this is a, a short, short sermon, but it's one of them sermons that, that it hits deep to the heart and to the point. You don't, I, I don't have to care it no further. It's, it's point blank. Hell is a real place. Accept Jesus Christ or you're going to face the, the judgment of damnation and spend eternity in hellfire. So as I begin to close, I'm going to make an altar call. Those that do not know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and those that want to be saved from, from this, this place of punishment of called hellfire, just say this simple prayer with me. Heavenly Fathers, I, I come to you. I ask for forgiveness, Father God, I acknowledge that your son, Jesus Christ, died on the cross for me and his blood paid the atonement for my sins, a multitude of sins. I ask that you forgive me, Father God. I ask that you come into my heart, come into my mind and come into my soul. Fill me with your spirit, Father God, and allow me to walk in your ways according to your scripture. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Those that, those that are out there that said that prayer and sincerely mean it in the heart and God that tugged at your heart to the point that you, you realize that you needed Jesus Christ. I just want to say, be blessed and welcome to the body of Christ. And, and, I, and I ask that, that you would find a local biblical believing spirit, feel God fear in church and, and, and go out there and get you the living word of God and, and continue to feed that spiritual man. You know, the Bible to me always stands basic for instructions before leaving earth, before we leave this earth. This is the, the instructions to the straight and narrow that Jesus always preached about and taught us about. <clears throat> now, I also suggest that you continue to watch my videos for inspiration and, and spirit filled messages. Those that are that are out there that, that subscribe to my channel um, and watch my videos, I just want to say thank y'all. I truly appreciate it that 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 how God has used me to minister to those that, that may not be able to get to to a church or, or may be in a remote area where there are situations where you can't go. But until the good Lord calls me home, I'm gonna continue to minister to those that that are out there online and those that are that are close to me and, and around me and in the church in any aspect anywhere i'm at that those that need the lord jesus christ um i also want to say a special thanks to all those that's been with me for, to the beginning of my ministry you know number one my love number one god and, and and beside that my my, my loving wife samantha my, my father and mother-in-law my dad uh, Pastor Donald Simmons, my, my dad, um, my godfather, um, Kevin Williams, Pastor Kevin Williams over there at Remedy Community Church, uh, Pastor John Quinn, Pastor John Paul, and Pastor Victor over there at Word of Faith. And guys do a really good job there. Uh, Pastor Dr. Randy Simmons, uh, and also Pastor James and, and Pastor Jennifer over there at uh, fire on the altar ministries. I really do appreciate y'all taking the time with me and, and guiding me in, in this walk. And when, when, when I needed those to pray for me for guidance, y'all were there. Also, those that are in my family. Um, other than that, I'm going to pray and dismiss us. Father God, as we come to you in, in the mighty name of Jesus, I just pray that this word has been planted on good ground, Father God, that it yield forth the harvest of a hundredfold, Father God, and it stir up a soul and the Holy Ghost move in a mighty, mighty way, Father God. Father God, I pray for those that are that are lost, that are undone, that are that face an addiction, any form of addiction, Father God, any form of sickness, that you will just wrap them 
in your healing wings, Father God, and this this show your wonderful works to them, Father God. Those that 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 are battling with any kind of demons or any kind of stronghold in their home or in their life at work, Father God, I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that they be loosed from the infirmities and their demons in the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, we just give you praise and honor and glory. We ask you to keep those safe as they, as they rest tonight and rise early in the morning, Father God, to continue their journey on this, this straight and narrow, Father God, that you will give them guidance. As your word says, I will give my angels charge of you. And Father God, we give you thanks for that, for your mighty son, Jesus Christ. In the, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Brothers and sisters, I just want to let you all know Tuesday night, Tuesday night, we're going to go over wisdom. How to find wisdom? Y'all, y'all stay tuned to Tuesday night, and we'll we're, we're going to talk about wisdom. And I I pray that you be blessed, and this message found you in a good way. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen.